Whoa, I am pale. Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. And if you're new to my channel, basically this channel is a community where I share my knowledge and tips and tricks on video production. I make new video production tutorials every week. A lot of them are based on what you guys want to learn. And if you go to premiergal.com slash tutorials on my website, you can actually leave requests there. Generally, I pick the ones that will be generally useful to many, many people. And a lot of people actually make the same request. So it's really interesting to see what you guys want to learn. So that's what my channel is sort of about. Um, primarily Premiere Pro, After Effects tutorials, as well as reviews and just general resource videos that will help you be a better shooter, editor, producer. So in this review video that I have here, I'm reviewing the Pond5 add-on which is a panel in Premiere Pro that will let you browse all of their stock video uh, as well as music and sound effects. And so in this review, I'm going to talk about what I find useful as well as some stuff that maybe could be improved. And also the, the add-on, if you download it in the description box, which I encourage you to do, you'll get 50 free clips included, which is pretty awesome. And if you do need to purchase a clip in the future, you can use my code PremierGal10 to get 10% off any product of Pond5, which is pretty great. I also have like a whole list of other discounts with other companies on my website, premiergal.com slash discounts. So go check it out. So let's go ahead to review and I have my laptop here and let's get started. All right, so I'm inside of Premiere Pro CC 2017 and I've already installed the Pond5 add-on here. As you see, if you had any issues installing it, make sure that Premiere Pro is closed while you installed the add-on from the Adobe add-on page. You also need to make sure that file syncing is turned on. So if you, do, if you go to Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app and you click on this gear icon, you go to preferences. This is where you can turn on file syncing underneath Creative Cloud and files. And this will sync the basically the add-on with the Premiere Pro app. So that way it'll be there when you open up Premiere Pro. Now it won't automatically appear. You actually have to go up to window and go to extensions and select Pond5 and it will launch open the add-on, which is a panel as you see here. Um, one of the first things that Pond5, Pond5 will actually prompt you to do is go and select a destination folder where all the clips that you decide to download will be saved to automatically. So you don't have to like go to the downloads folder from your browser and move them to your project folder. So if you click on this add destination folder on the left, you can browse your computer and select a project folder. And I'd recommend it being in the exact project folder where your, all of your other video assets are. So you can do that, which is great. Um, also down here, um, as you're browsing, you can build collections. You'll notice down here that there's collections that I already have. One thing that I noticed is if I wanted to actually click on an existing collection, if I clicked on it, it actually didn't do anything. And I discovered that you actually have to click on this little arrow up icon next to it to actually see what's in that collection, which is kind of strange because, you know, it would make sense for it to just be the word. So maybe that's something that can be improved going forward. So yeah, if you wanted to click on this um, icon, you can then see what's in the collection. You can also make a new one by clicking this collection and you need to select the collection that you want to add clips to prior to adding a clip to a collection. I know that was kind of confusing, but I'll explain. So I'm just going to say um, demo pond five create. So now if I wanted to search pond five, let's say for some shots of Washington DC, and you can see from the drop down here that you can also search for music sound effects and public domain footage. They have heaps of awesome public domain shots that are all completely free. So if you're working on archival shoots, um, archival documentaries, anything like that, use a public domain. And then you're gonna hit uh, search here. And now let's say you wanted to add one of these to a collection. If you click on this add to collection icon, it'll add it to the collection that you currently have selected down here, right? So that's what I was talking about before. You need to make sure that you select 
the collection prior to doing that. So if you wanted to download this clip, just click on it and it will immediately start to download the preview, which is the watermarked version. And then if I expand my project panel, you will see that it's now here. It automatically imported it. You can dress, um, drag and drop this. Let's just drag and drop this on the sequence here. And now you will see that the watermark version is now in the sequence, which is awesome. And you can continue to do this until you get your rough cut. And if you wanted to uh, replace these with the high res clips, all you have to do is just click on replace with high res clips and it will replace the low res previews inside of the sequence that you choose. So if I click on that, you can select the sequences that you want to replace, check that box, hit OK. Then what this will do is it'll allow you to choose which version of the clip that you want, if there's a 4K, uh, 1920 by 1080 HD, and so and so. So if you click on that, hit proceed, and then you know it's part of finalizing the purchase here. And here is where you can actually make the purchase inside of the panel. You don't have to go into pawn5.com to do any of that. You can add a promo code, which is where you can add the Premier Gal 10 to get 10% off, and then just check out, which is pretty neat. Also over here, let's say we wanted to cancel this. Uh, we can go back to filter um, over here on the left, and you can actually filter the shots further. You can choose, let's say you want 4K, and you want to adjust the price. Let's say we wanted it to be under 200 dollars you could do that you can also adjust the duration with the zoom slider here so if you're looking for a shot that's a particular length that's super useful one thing that they should add to the filter though is a membership filter so i have a membership plan which is 299 dollars per year and essentially that allows me to get 10 free clips per month and if you're on pond5.com, you will see that there are clips that have a little yellow star in the upper left hand corner and you can filter clips for membership content. But right now we can't filter that here. So that's something that could be improved and maybe even purchasing the, the membership from within the add on itself would be useful. Yeah, that's that's the pond5 panel. Um, it's pretty easy to use. So. Good job, Pond5. There's just a few things I have tips for, which is the, the membership and then also making it more easy to click on the collections here. Um, so membership browsing, please. And also just making it easier to click on your collections. And so that's it. I hope that you guys found this useful. Please do download the Pond5 add-on. I included a link in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I make new video production tutorials, reviews, resource videos, basically anything that you want to learn. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.